So um, last week we had a theme about um, the thought, about the thought being the thing that is at the beginning. The thought is the thing that causes all of the other um, movements and um, the, the energy movements, the physical movements, that everything originates from the thought that we think. And I want to stay with this um, topic of, of what the thought is and does for the time being. Um, it's connected with this chakra here, the, the Ajna chakra, it's called, the, the forehead um, chakra. And there's a, a, a very particular um, quality that can awaken when we develop this chakra. And that is the quality of being able to experience the thought as a phenomenon or an existence or a force in its own right. So normally we tend to think of um, thinking as a process that goes on inside our heads and sometimes we're conscious of what we're thinking and sometimes we're not and we suddenly think what made me think that or what made me say that or there's there's all sorts of thoughts bubbling up in a bit of an uncontrolled way but with the development of this sixth center here the ability comes to actually um, recognize the thoughts themselves as beings in their own right and I just want to show you um, a little drawing. This is in one of Heinz Grill's most recent books. I hope you'll be able to see this okay. It's a picture. Um, well, right. Can you see that? Okay, so you can see that there's a sort of crystal-like structure in front of that person's forehead. And it's a picture... I'll try and get it even nearer so the light and we lose the light. You can see that person is, is kind of thinking, but not in an introspective kind of way, but that person is holding a very clear, very concrete, very well-formed thought in front of their forehead. And this is what happens as we learn to use the sixth chakra is that our thoughts become much better formed. They become really clear, really well articulated. And we almost can start to become aware that the thought is a thing in itself. And when we can create thoughts of that nature, they have a huge power to guide our actions. They have a huge power to come into development. I think we all know that, that the more clearly we thought something through before we do it, the better the outcome is. And so we can train this um, ability directly in our yoga practice. We can work with the idea that we create a really clear thought form and hold it in front of our forehead in that way. So, um, what we're going to do in, in today's um, practice is we're going to start off with some exercises that focus more on the second centre, because this is a centre that can help to um, release our thoughts um, a bit more from our sort of bound up, confused, normal state, can help to free up our thoughts. And then the final exercises that we do we will then focus directly on this idea of holding a very free thought um, form in front of our foreheads. Okay. Okay. So let's um, come to a, we'll start then with um, the sun prayer or with some preparatory movements for the sun prayer. Let's start by taking the feet firmly together. And let's focus a little bit on the, this second centre here. This one works in conjunction with the six. As I mentioned, it helps to free up the thoughts, free up the energy in the head. So we have this sense of tightening our legs, drawing in, gathering at the second centre. And take your upper body upwards, your arms up, just be aware of the head, very free. The head sits on top of the body while the legs are tightened. 
Take the hands down again. Just bend forwards and hang down. Firm legs and feet. Relaxed upper body, relaxed neck, relaxed head. Come freely up once again. Firm feet and legs. Let's stay with that thought. So the thought that we think becomes very clear. The legs are tightened. There's a kind of gathering activity in the second centre of the sacrum and a kind of release upwards with the upper body, very free, and the head, very free and light. Take the hands down. Let's do the same thing once again. What we're doing is building up a feeling of a polarity. The feet and the legs are firm and stable. The head in this hanging position is just relaxed. Then we can come back up once again. We'll stay with this idea of polarity. The feet are firm, the legs are drawn together, the region of the sacrum tightens, and the head is just propelled up into a light, free, open space. And free breath. Take the hands down. Let's do a round of the sun prayer. Keeping the feet firm and the head free. Take the arms up, feet firm, head free, and then come forwards. Take the right foot back into the half moon, form a good base, really grow into the legs. Keep the head free as you take the arms up, fingers light. Come into the plank. Take the knees, chest and face down. Slide forwards and open into the cobra. Keep the head free. Space above the forehead. Come into the triangle. Take the right foot forward, form a good base. Take the arms up, keep the head free. Take the hands down and take the other foot forward, looking in. Keeping the feet firm, come right the way up. Be aware that the head is high and free above the body. Keep breathing. Take the hands down. And once again, feel the feet firmly on the ground, ankle bones touching, legs together. Take the arms lightly up, keep the breath free, the head free. Polarity between the lower body and the upper body. Take the hands down and look in. Left foot back, form a good base, growing into both legs. And keep the upper body open with the head free. Free breath. Come into the plank. Take the knees down, face down, chest down, slide forwards and curl up into the cobra. Keep breathing. Push into the triangle. Long back. Left foot forward. So once again, we grow into the legs to form that tightening in the sacrum. Open up the upper body and the head is light and high and free. Take the hands down, step forward and look in. Come right the way up, firm feet and legs. Be aware that your head is lifted up into a high free space. And take the hands down. So let's come to the standing head to knee position. As you all know, this one um, focuses on the second centre. 
And again, we'll go forwards with this idea of a free head. As you take the arms up, make sure that your feet and legs are stable again, drawn together. And then come right the way out, looking ahead at your hands. The feet and legs stay firm. You can push back a little bit with your sacrum, drawing your tummy more towards your thighs. And the head is directed out and forwards towards with your eyes looking towards your hands. The polarity between the sacrum and the head. Relax down again. Come back up again. Firm feet and legs. Lengthening up through the spine and take the hands down. So the chakras are energy centers. It means they're centers where energy gathers and from where energy can flow. And the second center and the sixth center have a particular relationship. So if we focus in our practice on a picture of energy gathering at the second center and flowing through the spine, it can help energize the sixth center as well. And that energizing of the sixth center gives a very different experience from the energizing of the second, they're opposites. The energizing of the second means a gathering, a contraction. The energizing of the sixth means a freeing and an opening. You could almost picture that the energy is moving in opposite ways. So let's take that picture then. The energy is going, we, we picture the energy and that helps it to flow. We picture it gathering at the second center, flowing along the spine and opening out at the head. Do the movement again. Take the arms up, feet and, and legs are firmly on the ground. We picture the energy gathering at the second center, the sacrum, come down into the movement. Now we can picture the energy flowing out along the spine. And finally, we can picture that the head becomes very free almost as if it becomes released from the body. Keep breathing, stay with that picture. The sacrum tightens as it pushes back a bit. The spine lengthens as energy flows outwards along it. And the head, which looks out into the space beyond, round about where the hands are, the head becomes more free. Relax down again. Come right the way back up. Free breath. Firm feet and legs. Streaming up into that height and take the hands down. Let's do that one one more time because I think it's always helpful to do it a few times to really increase the growth. This time we'll really try and push back quite powerfully with this region here so that we can then find a more powerful lengthening forwards through the head, through the spine and an even greater freedom as a result in the head. Feet firmly on the ground, legs together. Take the arms up lightly. Come right the way out. So we're going to build up the same thoughts, but with even more power this time. The abdomen grows towards your thighs as you push backwards with the sacrum. So it's bringing that kind of concentration into that region. Then you can start to flow outwards. Picture a flowing out movement through your spine, which carries you forwards. 
but right out ahead. So there's a really good lengthening coming into the spine now. Free breath. Relax down again and come right the way back up to a standing position. Rowing a little bit more. Up into that free space. And take the hands down. Just pause a moment to become aware of your head. We're working on the one hand with a tightening in the second centre. And with that, a sense of freeing and opening in the region of the head. Let's do one more round of the sun prayer. We'll do it a little bit faster this time, but we'll stay with the idea that what we're wanting to build today is a sense of freedom in the head, that the head is not caught up in all of the bodily tensions, but is able to kind of have a sense of, of um, free overseeing activity. Hands together. Take the arms up so we're growing upwards, the head stays free. Come forwards and look in. Take the right foot back, forming a good base. Come right up, keep that head high and free. Come into the plank. Knees, chest and face down, slide forward to open up into the cobra. Push into the triangle. Take the right foot forward to keep the head high and free while you form that good base with the legs. Take the other foot forward and look in. Swing right the way up, feet and legs gathered. The head stays high and free. Take the hands down. Hands together. Take the arms up. Grow. Come forwards and look in. Left foot back so we form that good lengthening into the legs. The head stays high and free. Come into the plank. Knees, chest and face down. Slide forwards and open into the cobra. Push into the triangle. Left foot forward. Half moon. Head staying high and free. Right foot forward. Come right the way up and grow. And take the hands down. Okay. So we'll come to the head to knee position over one leg. If you want to sit on a, a cushion, then do so. We're going to do a few exercises now to build up the, um, to help the energy gather in the second centre. Straighten out your left leg and bend your right leg so that your foot is against your thigh. So let's take our awareness to this sacrum, this region here again. You can be aware that the legs flow along the ground. Our energy, we can picture this happening. Our energy tightens here, gathers in the centre. And at the same time, the legs flow out along the ground. Try and picture that. Something's flowing in, at the same time, something's flowing out. Gathering in, flowing out. That's the energy movement we can picture. And keeping those legs really spread out over the ground like water, like a puddle spreading over a surface. Just grow up high. Let the body rise up tall and high. 
free breath, the head is at the top, looking down on the rest of the body. Come back down again. Let's change your legs around. We'll do the same thing. We'll start by building up the right picture. I'm going to move my screen nearer. I always forget to do that when we come into the um, sitting positions. It makes sense, doesn't it? Now a bit nearer. Right. So, straighten out your right leg now. Same thing, we can gather at the second center and we can feel how the legs at the same time are spreading along the ground, spreading over the surface of the ground. Just let the breath flow. Stay with that picture. So if you remember, I showed you that crystal in front of the forehead. The pictures that I'm telling you, they can start to form themselves in front of your forehead. So it's a picture forming of a gathering in and a flowing out. Gathering in at the centre, flowing out through the legs. You start to feel the legs really in good, calm contact with the surface of the floor. And then from that base, we can stream upwards. The legs remain in that good flowing contact. The body rises up. The head sits on top. The forehead is the place where that guiding, that overseeing can happen. Keep breathing. And come back down again. Let's um, change sides once again. This time take your right hand behind your back. Have that good base on the ground. Create the mental picture again that we have a gathering at the second centre. Flowing of the legs over the ground. Take your left hand forwards and look ahead. So we can flow outwards. We can picture how our energy gathers at the second center and now streams out forwards into the distance. Once again, with the eyes and with the head, we follow the hand out into freedom. Keep breathing. Right the way out. Come back again, moving up. Take the hand down, change over to the other side. Take your left hand behind your back this time. Be aware of that second center, it's a gathering point. The legs spread over the ground, forehead, is high and free. So the energy gathers at the second center, it flows forwards along the spine. You can picture this happening and it carries you outwards. With your head you look forwards towards your fingers, out into freedom. It's a good tightening from the second center streaming out forwards with the head. Right the way out. And come back again. Take the arm up. Stream upwards through the spine. And take the hand down. Okay, we're going to do the wide stretch, which is um, slight, well, I find it more difficult because it stretches these muscles inside here. So this time you need to sit facing in between your legs. Bend your right foot in again, 
left leg straightening out. You can still sit on a cushion if that, that can help to get more mobility in the pelvis. We have the same thought. The energy gathers at the centre, gathers in like this, and at the same time it flows out through the legs. Can you build up? Can you picture that? Picture that in front of your forehead. Build up that picture. The energy is gathering in at your sacrum, flowing out through the legs. And in the same way that we did last time, we're going to take the arms up so that out of that firm base, we can stream upwards. Sitting bones go into the floor. There's a tightening in your sacrum. And the streaming up through the spine, fingertips lightly coming together. And take the hands down. Change to the other side. Let's come to the same picture. We picture a centering into the sacrum. Flowing outwards through the legs. Picture it clearly before you in front of your forehead. The legs flow along the ground. The picturing helps you to feel it. Then you can lengthen up through the spine, flow up through the spine. Right up high. We have this polarity again, a tightening in the sacrum, a freeing of the head. Take the hands down. Okay, let's straighten out both legs now. Same picture, tightening in the sacrum, flowing along the ground at the same time. Would you like to do just a few hand movements to help you build up that picture again? Tightening in the sacrum, a gathering, flowing out through the legs. And you can start to feel those legs really spreading out over the ground as you picture this movement flowing out. Right, let's take the arms right up high same way as before. Stay with your picture then. We have a tightening in the sacrum. We have a free forehead that sits right up high above the body. Let's take the arms wide out sideways now. Spread widely out and keeping that chest really open. Just tilt at your pelvis. Don't round the back. But just come right into this open tilt forwards, free breathing, trusting in the legs, tightening in the sacrum, free head. Okay, come back up again, right the way up. and take the hands down. Right, so we're going to move to some of the exercises which um, in Heinz Grill's book, The Soul Dimension of Yoga, this one, he, um, he directly assigns to the Sixth Centre. In fact, on the cover of this book, we have a picture of the cobra, which we're going to do next. So I'll show you this picture. And then you can picture it in your mind's eye. So you can see that the picture forms a curve, a smooth curve right up through the spine. Legs flow along the ground. You can see that the pelvis remains on the ground. And then you can see how the whole upper body curls backwards right through the spine, the neck, the head, all forming one curve. Also notice how he doesn't straighten up the arms, but the elbows are kept a little bit bent. Okay, so that's what we, the picture that we want to hold 
in front of our forehead. So you can come into a lying position. And feel your legs and your feet on the ground. We'll start, I think, with a little preparation, just taking the hands backwards like this to point backwards so that we can get the feeling of really curling evenly through the spine. Obviously, we won't come up as high doing it this way, but let's just try and build in a little bit of a curl. The forehead is directed forwards. Keep breathing. back down again. So you can take your hands under the shoulders, the legs and pelvis on the ground. Keep that picture in your mind how there was a smooth curve right through the body. I shouldn't say in your mind. Keep that picture just in front of your forehead. Place it there. So let's um, take the head back and curl upwards a little bit. Keep breathing. Just using the arms as a support, but not too much. Pelvis and the legs stay on the ground. Come back down again. Let the breath flow. So we'll do a few of these so we can build up the um, flexibility, build up the energy flow. So once again, we have a polarity. We have the pelvis down on the ground. The sacrum can remain anchored. The head we can think of as being more free, more overseen. Keep breathing. Curl up once again. Pelvis remains anchored. Whereas the head more is high up as if it's in a, a high overseeing position. And come back down again. Free breath. Okay, we're going to come into it one more time. We're going to hold it again. And this time I'd like you to just stay with the idea picture that we looked at at the beginning when I showed you how this person had a crystal in front of their forehead. That's the picture, the picture that I just showed you of that curled body. I'd like you to hold that picture just there in front of your forehead while we hold the position. So legs stay grounded and the pelvis, free breath. And you can start to curl upwards. Keep breathing. And now that picture of that curled cobra shape. Hold that picture just above the forehead. And come back down again. And push back into child's pose. And come back up. So we're going to do another um, position that is described in a very classical way that's belonging to the sixth center in that same book, The Soul Dimension of Yoga. And this one is the, um, the, the sitting twist. I almost said the triangle because that is the shape that we can picture in our minds. I think you all know this shape, but I'm going to just demonstrate it anyway so that you can have it clearly in your mind. And the shape is of a triangular form with a central line down the middle of it. 
the triangular form is formed like this with from the head down to the hands and the base of the triangle is along the ground the whole body forms a triangle and the central line down the middle of the triangle is the spine and what we're going to do is hold that picture in front of the forehead and hold that picture of a triangular form with a line down the middle in front of the forehead. So can you take your left foot over your right knee? And start with your hands around your knee so that you can build up that central line of your spine. Once from the top of the head down to the base. Then take the arms up to lengthen that line even more. Keep the breath flowing. And now twist to your left. Take the left hand down in a wide movement and grow upwards, right up high with your right arm. Really build up that length even more. Then the hand can come either hugging around your knee, if that's easier for you, or if possible, right over the knee and you take hold of the foot, one or the other. So the head comfortably looks over the left shoulder, not with any strain. And the important thing is that your head is held as high as possible with the neck free, because only then can we really keep that mental picture in front of the forehead. So start to draw that picture in the space in front of your forehead. It's a triangle with a line down the center of it. Just stay picturing that form. The picture exists in the space directly in front of your forehead. Straighten up again. Take the hands forward. change over to the other side. So the idea when we create these mental pictures is that the body should naturally respond. We don't need to directly force the body into this perfect triangle, but rather we hold the mental picture and very naturally the body should find its way into that picture. That's because the thought that we have has an energy in it and that energy will transfer into a physical practice, physical movement. So first of all, we can picture that uprightness of the spine and we can allow that spine then to find its way into that vertical line. Continue up with the arms, free breath, head remaining perched high on top, high and free. Twist to your right, take the right arm down behind you and then take the left arm up even higher to really build up that good length through the spine, right up high. And then take the arm either around your leg like that or right over the leg if you're able to. Head looking over the right shoulder. just as far as is comfortable. And make sure that you can feel that the head, once again, is sitting high and free above the body, not sunk down into it. So we create that mental picture of the triangle directly above the forehead and the learning step for the sixth center is to be able to hold a chosen thought for a certain amount of time. It's a mental training. We picture a triangle 
with a line down the middle. And we hold that picture in the space in front of the forehead. And straighten up again. And take the hands down. Okay, we'll just finish off with a nice, vigorous, energetic um, exercise that gathers all of our physical um, strength together, having done a lot of mental work. And this is the inclined plane. So can you take your hands behind? I won't make you hold it for a minute, but we'll just come into a nice, um, shorter holding time to really tighten all our energy again. And when you're ready, come right up into the inclined plane, drop the head back, let the breath flow, and gather all of your strength along the back of the whole body. The legs are strong, the spine is strong, the rib cage is lifted, chest is lifted, and only the head drops back. Breath flows fully and freely. And then come back again. Let's finish off in a sitting position. So you can sit on your cushions if you wish. And cross-legged position. Or half lotus if you're able or even full lotus if you're able to do that sit with your spine upright and be aware of that region of the sacrum we've done a lot of work down there this evening in picturing the energy gathering in at that point and you can picture how energy flows from that point up the spine. And the forehead is high and free. The forehead is the place where thoughts form in front of it. And what you can picture now is that picture I showed you right at the beginning. Bring that image back to your mind's eye. There's a, a face, and in front of the forehead, there was a sort of bluey, whitey crystal form, which represent the thought taking shape in front of the forehead. And we'll finish the session there.